what's going on guys so today is all about dual screen workflows yes and single screen workflows too i'm going to show you how to optimize your davinci resolve 17 for laptop workflows and for dual screen workflows and maybe even triple screens so without further ado let's get started okay so we're going to start with single screen workflows or maybe if you're on a laptop now first things first you're going to notice is that it doesn't look like we've got a lot of space like it looks quite cramped and claustrophobic now i'm going to show you how to optimize your davinci resolve 17 for single screen workflows or for laptop workflows so right now you can see that our timeline is pretty small which is annoying i play things back and it's pretty small i don't really have you know room to work with here now i'm going to show you exactly what you can do to fix it on either side at the top corners here you can see like a little a little phone with a tripod here or a TV with a stand, depending on how you want to look at it. If you click onto these, so I'll go to one on the left hand side, you see it says shrink. So if I click onto it, it's now expanded our timeline on the left hand side and it's taken this media pool window and it's shrunk it down to this size here, which is super useful. Again, if I go to the right hand side and I click onto the icon, you can see again, it's expanded our timeline. And just like that, we've gone from this being extremely claustrophobic and difficult to navigate through to this, which is a way better workflow. Like really, really good. Also, if you're working on a laptop or a single screen, you might want to optimize and change the size of your clips without zooming in. So say for example, I could zoom in, but I don't want my clips to be huge or my clips might be tiny. So in order to affect basically how your timeline is being viewed, you navigate to the left here, and you can see your timeline view options. So here you have your video track height. So you can adjust the size of it. And here you also have the timeline view options. So you have film strip view, thumbnail view, and simple view. Simple view won't give you a preview at all of your video clips. Now this is great if you're gonna be, for example, having a small video track height like so. Thumbnail view will only give you a single image of what the video is gonna be like. So as you can see, we have a preview thumbnail for this video here, we have a preview thumbnail for this video here, but it doesn't actually show you for example, here in a clip where it looks like that is where the film strip view comes into place. So if I zoom in, you can see that it's actually giving me more of a preview of what the video is actually going to look like, which is important. So again, if you want to optimize your timeline settings, play with this here and adjust your video view options. You can change your video track height. Again, you have things up here, like for example, if you want to have stacked timelines. So this at the top here will enable you to have different timelines so here you can see i have one of my old videos which is a voiceover track i've got a one by one timeline here i've got the timeline that i'm recording this video on right here so you can have multiple different timelines not only that but you can actually stack timelines together so say for example if i go to the right hand side and i click this icon here you can see that i have a timeline at the bottom which i can pick any timeline that i want and i have a timeline at the top you can actually do this three times if i do this again it's going to be really crap but you can see we have three different timelines here now again you might want to use this workflow i know premiere pro users are used to using this workflow for stuff like selects and stuff i typically don't use this so i'm going to get rid of this for now by pressing this icon here i'm also going to drag this down you can also adjust the size of your windows by dragging this down okay now that we've got that out of the way let's talk about dual screen workflows in order to enable dual screen with individual resolve 17 all you need to do is go to workspace go to dual screen and click on so this is going to be difficult to show you but bear with me so once you do that you're going to be presented with this okay so as you can see at the moment i have my my timeline on the left hand side here with my viewer and on my right monitor you can see that i have literally mixer right here I also have all of my folders and all of the clips that I can drag in. So this is the simple dual screen workflow. And this is actually pretty useful. And not only is it enabled for the edit page, but also the color page. So again, I have literally all of my scopes here. You can see I've got my gallery on the left hand side. I've got my clips. I've got my timeline. It's insane. Dual screen is insane. And again, I have a larger window for my nodes. I've got my preview here. You also have dual screen infusion as well, which I'll show you. Please don't crash the video resolve. Please don't crash. Here you go, as you can see. <laughs> I've got my keyframes here. I've got my spline editor here. My nodes are here. And my preview two here. Preview one on the left hand side right here. Even Fairlight Audio has a dual screen compatibility. So as you can see, I have huge audio waveforms and timelines right here on the right hand side i have my huge mixer array great and also all of my effects by the way if you want a video on my eq presets and eq processes let me know in the comments below 
So this is not the only option you have for door screen workflows in DaVinci Resolve 17. You can actually do a few more interesting things. So say for example, you wanted to have your timeline full screen on one window. All you need to do is go to workspace, go back to door screen and click full screen timeline. And I'll show you exactly what it does. So as you can see, I now have a full screen window. Literally this monitor here is full screen of my timeline. I still have my inspector and my meters. But on my right screen, I have everything else. So I literally have the preview windows right here. I can have a single preview window if I wanted to. I can have dual. I have my clips here with all of my folders. Pretty handy. Not only this, but you also have one more, which is my favorite. If we go to dual screen and we click off, this is my second desktop screensaver I created myself in Blender. That's another video. If we go back to workspace and we click video clean feed this enables you to have a full screen preview of your timeline so if i click video clean feed and i click generate pmp monitor 2 this is my second monitor you can now see it's not going to play back in real time because i'm recording but you can now see i have my timeline as normal this is how normally my davinci resolve would look on a single screen on my second screen i have a full screen preview like this is crazy imagine if you're color grading you have one color accurate monitor you can adjust on the left hand side so you can go to your grades and you can adjust the parameters on the right hand side or whatever monitor you have you can see a full screen preview again if you wanted to swap these around you can all you need to do is go to workspace go to primary display and change your primary display so right now my primary display is my first monitor i can change it to my second monitor go back to workspace go to video clean feed and click generic monitor one and as you can see i've swapped them around so now i have my full screen preview on my first monitor and my timeline my normal davinci resolve on my second monitor now this is very powerful this works exactly for three screens as well so if you had a triple monitor setup it would work exactly the same way now what's interesting about this is you can actually save visual presets so say for example you want to be working in dual screen productivity so you wanted to have both the left screen and the right screen to edit DaVinci Resolve instead of having a full screen preview. All you need to do is go to workspace, go back to dual screen, turn it on, it'll automatically bring you back to where we were before, then go back to workspace, click layer presets and click save layout as preset. In fact, hold on, let me zoom in so you can see. As I was saying, if you go to workspace, scroll down layer presets you can actually save a layout as a preset so right now i have three presets i've got my base preset if i just want to be working on a single monitor then i have my base so i have that and i've saved that as a preset i also have dual productivity so here i have dual screen workflow within my davinci resolve as you can see which is perfect i like working in this workflow and lastly i have a preset for having a full screen viewer on my left side so as you can see i've got full screen preview on my left side and my editor timeline as normal so that's how you work with dual screen in DaVinci Resolve 17 and also triple screen workflows because everything I've shown you, you can do with three screens. So to close out, we're going to read some comments. Awesome tutorial, ideal for beginners like me. No problem, the clicks man. Pedro says, excellent. Thank you. No, Pedro, thank you. Alistair says, fantastic stuff. Really useful. I'm glad you found it useful. Car Boom TV, really good if you're looking for a good explanation on the key parameters. Thank you. Well, thank you for watching. Edgar says, amazing tutorial. Have you done any shoes boots with this process or is it prefers to do all modeling in Blender around the DAS model for shoes? I typically tend to do that in, in Blender because I feel like I have a lot more flexibility in terms of moving around the polygons and that sort of thing. So I'll probably make a tutorial on that for you. Frozen Flaming Sauce says, thank you so much for this as your video showed me how to get rid of black bars through the garbage mat. You are very welcome. You're going to love the Delta Keen video. I need to make that very soon. And Daryl says, Nice video. Good to see Pepe making a rounds. <laughs> Thank you. Finally, finally, somebody gets the Pepe reference. Thank you very much, Daryl. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please share, subscribe, comment, like. If you found it useful, let me know in the comments below. If you didn't, also let me know. I also have a Patreon, guys. If you want to support me, click the link in the description. If you want to get some of my LUTs, also link in the description. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.